that sweet. <laughs> yesterday yeah, yeah let's talk about that a little bit that was yeah. eldora eldora yeah that was badass like it was just cool completely different environment and loaded with people uh, and and cars um those guys are nuts they're fast but today after that very long day yesterday you were with jason yesterday yeah today we're gonna try and fix the well because we randomly lose water uh, when we're using it. <laughs> and I'm hoping it's the pump. Um, so I'm gonna try to pull this thing out. It's 100 and some foot deep and put a new pump in it and whatever else looks like it's worn or needs changed. Uh, got that to do. Got the Mrs. Jessica's van or whatever to try to figure out what she broke on it. And then hopefully I can get on the car, try to get it all checked out and show it some love for this weekend, which is supposedly gonna be pacemakers. So, what I'm doing. Too old for this shit, huh? Don't be looking too good, do she? Yeah, but she been in a long time. Did we put a new one in or did we fix the one when we did we this? We didn't little... do shit. I put a new one in. Hey, be nice. But that is nice. Whenever I did that, that was a long time ago, but I had to stop in the middle of it, hold it, do everything. And then that's when it scratched down the side of the Ford. It looks like it's plenty deep. Yeah, I mean, wise. the pump's wet. Let's 
it's wet all the way up to there. So you guys said we wanted about 15 foot up off the bottom. So that's why I got the string. Find out what's what, where's where. We gotta cut all the wires loose and rerun the wire. Want to talk about pacemakers? How your pass went? Uh, <laughs> normal crappy pass. Um, no, it was fifth pair down, right lane. I mean, I felt like the lane was going to come around. It wasn't scraped or anything. It just had whatever was there uh, from whatever happened prior. And uh, fifth pair, I watched the first two and I already could almost feel a little something coming around. So I probably should have put more power in it or tightened the suspension up. And I didn't because I would honestly rather it wheelie than spin. Um, and it did wheelie. <laughs> I had to cut gas. Um, whenever I set it back down, it just, it just spun the tire like it got up on the tire and wouldn't, it didn't grab back a hold the whole pass. Like it, it just kind of glided the whole pass. Um, there was a couple bumps in the track and whenever I would hit the bumps, I could feel the car lunge. So I knew it had a bunch of wheel speed and I can feel it anyway. 
but that kind of confirmed what I was feeling. Um, Sean Hendrickson is who I was racing. He ended up beating me. Uh, congratulations to him for moving on. Uh, he had a definitely had a better tune-up. It looked to me, and I got to see pretty much his whole pass from the time I set the wheelie down because he pat he come past me there. Um, looked like he had a really good clean pass. I mean, right down through there. So, congratulations to him. Uh, yeah, that was that was that. Um, a lot of things I would like to have tried differently, but. I don't I I don't want to get too aggressive and knock the tire off. I wanted to make sure that the thing would hook, so yeah, I did try I tried a little bit of different stuff with the front end on that one. Um Yeah, I mean that was pretty much the pass or one pass at pacemakers. <laughs> or one eliminations round pass. We tried to make a test pass here. But, After the pass, uh, after a wheeling, I made a few changes. Um, we ended up burning a, the strap off of a plug also. So we checked all that out. I made some tune-up adjustments, made some car adjustments, <clears throat> and I have yet to make a pass or a 330 anything on just the second kit. Um, got the first, I, I, Pretty much got the first kit safe and then added the second kit and was like going that way so i decided to make a hit i was going to go to the 330 on just the second kit and, and look at a plug um i don't know how long this has been a problem but went up done the burnout done everything as normal lined up made let off the button made the to make the pass um the second kit, I was extremely aggressive with it. I got, I had tightened the suspension up pretty good, honestly. And it still, like it didn't have any wheel speed. It took off, it was wheeling, like power wheeling. Then it got up so far and it went into, it like got, this, it went into a spin or it started tire shaking in the wheelie. Um, I let off and got back on it and, and the, the car died. It just fell over, come down, coasted all the way to the other end. Um, I thought I broke something. We checked We checked the rear end. We checked the transmission. We checked the converter stuff. We checked the engine stuff. I mean, couldn't find anything wrong. Everything seemed fine. Uh, fired it back up. I mean, we looked at plugs, everything. Fired it back up. I drove it around. Just drove it around the motor, around in the pits and everything. Everything was good. Um, so I came, well, I got home and I left it, was it Monday? I think Monday I got out to uh, to mess with the car. And that's helping Jason do his floor in his house. So <laughs> it's racing work. But uh Got to messing around with it, and I was going to do a compression test. Compression test, the whole nine yards, press test, leak down, all that stuff. And I turned the power on, and I had no power. So I checked both switches. So I've got the inside, the remote kill switch, and the outside kill switch. Just in case shit happens, I'm unconscious. They can kill it from outside, or if I can catch it and I need to kill it, I can do it from the inside. I've got no power in it, so I'm messing with the switches, messing with the switches, and nothing. There's no power. Um, I was messing with wires, just trying to get something to kick on, you know, anything, a clip, a glitch, a light flash, anything, nothing did. So I got to messing with the back, the, uh, back shut off at the bumper 
and I could see the little lights in the trunk. They would flicker at about midway. It'd flicker, it'd flicker, it'd flicker. So I started chasing the, the battery wires down. And I don't even remember how I run across this. Uh, Mike had asked me, how the hell did I find figure this out? And I told him it's because I'm dedicated. But <laughs> honestly, I, I don't even remember or know how I figured it out. It was just, it was one of those things that it showed itself at the right time. Um, the solenoid for the remote shutoff is clearly bad. Um, I got the messing around and I was smacking stuff and jerking it around and it, it and the lights would kick on and kick off. They'd kick on and kick off. So I just I start, took something and smacked it and it kicked on and stayed on. And then it went off. Smacked it some more, kick on and stay on. Then it'd go off. I keep beating on it and they'd just go on and off, on and off, on and off. Uh, we were supposed to have another one of those here today. It has not showed up. And I'm, I'm, I gotta change that. Um, I was wanting to get it changed today because we are leaving for War in the Woods tomorrow. So that is the shutoff issue. I don't know what other all issues that it has caused. Like I haven't felt it like cut off or glitch or anything in the middle of it. I thought it was the switch panel. Like I've done already ordered a fuel tech switch panel and all kinds of stuff because the ARC switch panel is what I'm running and they've had a track record of of having issues with the switches shutting off or the, the devices that they're running shutting off because of the ribbon cable or whatever. And uh, like I automatically assumed that's what it was and, and it wasn't, it was that solenoid. So uh, we're gonna get this thing fixed up. I got it checked out, got the tires on it. Um, changed the suspension up pretty good. Haven't figured out what I'm gonna do for, for power or tune up or anything that that way for war in the woods but we're going to war in the woods this weekend and uh we're gonna try and make it past the first round that's that i thought it's just about it uh, i think it was last night like what realistically what is her idea with this and uh she she wants to make it past the first round if we can get past the first round we, we've done something better than what we've done in the past um and with that the decision to leave the car alone with the converter, and that's kind of what we was talking about. Uh, CJ, me, feels that we need to put the new uh, 501 converter in it to, to be able to run at least mid front, front of the pack. The, the converter should make a pretty good difference from the data we've got. Um, Jess wants to leave it alone. <laughs> now, let's clarify that. Uh, Jess wants to leave it alone because we know more of what it's going to do. We've got data. We know how to control it. Um, for now, until for we now. can test. Yeah. yeah. I was getting to that, but uh -huh. she wouldn't let me get there. No. Nah. Um, talked with Bubba on that, and he understands. <laughs> he gets it, but... Um, so I think I'm going to leave the converter that's in it in it, and we're going to go swing for the fences, um, and then, then I'm going to change the converter when we get back. We're going to go do some testing, and I believe this this converter sh is going to is going to put us at the next step. Um, but this is going to put us back at ground zero too. I'm going to have to relearn everything. Sorry, that's Tang in there barking in the garage. He's mad. He's mad because he's in the kennel and he can't be out with Jackson, but he's not fully trained enough yet for us to let him be out here. He'll take off five yards down. And he won't come back. That's, they don't ever yeah. come back. So, yeah, so yeah thank you, uh, 501 Bubba Rafferty. Appreciate it. It's a beautiful, beautiful piece. Um, we're going to get it in after War in the Woods. And we're gonna see what that little bastard will do. Hopefully, we can do some video on the installation of that. Yeah, yeah, we can do. We can definitely do that. Get that out there. Mm. Uh, Nitrous Express pulled through. They they got me some more bottles and some jets. So we're gonna be able to uh, jet this bitch up. <laughs> and I think Chuck with On Tilt is gonna be at War in the Woods this weekend, so we get to see him. That'd be good. Excellent. Yeah. Hey. It's always good seeing 
seeing sponsors and mm -hmm. people that's helped us helped us along the way. Yep. And Garrett with Fuel Tech will be there. Fuel Tech will be there, absolutely. Yeah. So it should be a Still good time. Thank, thank Fuel Tech enough. Yeah. Like, oh my gosh, he's actually bringing bringing some of the stuff I need with with him there. Um, probably not going to get it on. I don't know how all the the uh, switch panel and stuff goes. I don't know how how hard or easy that's going to be because my stuff is wired with this switch panel. Works. But uh, we're definitely going to have a fuel tech switch panel in it. We're going to get EGTs on it so we can watch the cylinders, each cylinder. Um, temperature gauge? I don't know about a temperature gauge yet. <laughs> okay. I got a rife temperature gauge that has never worked. It reads like 34 to 41 degrees, and that's all that it reads ever since it's been put in. Um... So I need to get a temperature gauge because I just run it cold. Mm -hmm. So guys, sorry, we know it's been two weeks since we got your video out. We've been busy with just life. Um, Seems to be the excuse every time. Yeah, well, he's been, he went and seen Jerry with Bunker Hill Fabrications. Yeah, yeah. And, I've just been busy. Honestly. Yeah, and helped Jason with this flooring. We still got to make it to one of Mike's kids games yeah, we tried I, to I do that to go to one of those anyway yeah i think it would be pr pretty cool now that we actually know somebody just to go and watch a, a college yeah. game yeah and we two two of them one in football one in baseball yeah so. yeah it's important to us to spend time with our crew and what they're doing on the time off because they do spend so much time with us doing what we do yeah we got the off season coming up um I don't even know how to talk about that. I ain't ready. But I'll be busy, busy, busy there because I have to freshen this car up and I really want to do do work on the other one. See if I can try to get it to to the next step in the build. Um Jess's car is tuned. So we got a nice little street tune, just a good driver tune, not max max effort or anything on it. Could uh, you take that two to tune Corey it? Um, he took care of all that. I drove it around the block is all I've gotten to drive it, but it drives a lot smoother. It's so much, just, just, it's just a lot cleaner. Um, so that, that's that, uh, get the brakes on your, your car, the brake booster, so that it's perfectly for you to drive other than the transmission that we're, we're still waiting to get that taken care of. Uh, the 4L80. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. There's just a lot to do, a lot coming up, and like realistically, it's me, so don't expect stuff to happen really, really fast. It's not going to happen overnight or in a week or anything. It's a little bit here and there, and hopefully, we can have everything ready, yeah, ready, cleaned up, ready to go for next next season. But uh, we've still got well five big races, four or five bigger bigger races that we're wanting to hit this year. Mm -hmm. the, uh, the little small block's getting tired. Um, I didn't re-ring it whenever, uh, whenever I put it, took it apart and cleaned it back to get, or cleaned it out, cleaned all the mud out of it and everything. I didn't re-ring it and I should have. Um, but realistically, it's got quite a bit of run time on it now anyway, and it would probably need rings. I'm not saying that they're bad, but, but it's starting to show that it's been abused. Um, I just hope we make it to the end of the season before we have anything anything happen. So yeah, so we're in the woods this weekend. Um, I believe we're back down at KD the last weekend of the month for Cars and Chaos. So far, that is the plan. Um, I know there's a race coming up at Dragway 42 that we're going to hit. Yeah, that's a backside race. Yeah, it's so that should be there. good. And of course, Dig or Die in December. And so we get to go back to Digger Dog. Finally, excited about that I one. Even, well, I'm kind of excited, but I'm kind of nervous because I got no like. I don't want to go down there and it, it just be a disappointment. I really like to do good, uh, but honestly, we don't have any place to test around here for that place. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be, again, you know, going traveling a long way and just guessing at the surface. I, mean, I got an idea of what it looks like, but I haven't been there for a while, so I don't know how it's evolved. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. That's the plan. 
So if you're going to be at War in the Woods, we'll see you there. If not, yeah, we'll see, see you the next time. I think CJ's headed down Thursday, and me and Darren are going to follow first thing Friday morning. Mm -hmm. So we have some merch available, limited sizes, but we do have some. So and also do pre-order on the online, online store. store. Yep. Um, so. so yeah, buy merch.